Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to MDLR Fishing. It is a cold morning day in October. We've had a cold front push through and uh, that kept me off the water for about three days. So right now what we're trying to do is come up with a game plan, but I think I have one put together. I'm gonna put the hat on really quick. So I'm taking a look at October 2020 right there and it's telling me that we had great luck during a cold front. This is the time of year when we start to get them. They're gonna push through. What we're gonna do is go out there with some bottom bouncing lures, such as this right here. This is another bottom bouncer right here. Let's use two of them, which we got right over here. Stick with me. We're gonna get loaded up and hit that water as soon as we possibly can. Oh, so before the day begins, we are already having trouble. Connection is loose in there, so I gotta plug it directly to the battery. We moved it up front in order to keep our day going. There we go. You hear that? Connects right up. That plug up there is bad. That's the second one that I've had to place onto my kayak, and I'm gonna have to replace it yet again. To be fair to the kayak, I beat this thing up and uh, it's it's been going for close to two years now. We're approaching the two year mark and um, this thing has been a beast. Uh, it, I just, I've got nothing bad to say about it except for the fact that the wire terminals do wear out. But uh, we're underway now. Let's get to our area that we want to fish. Going for flounder today, y'all, specifically, but if we get the bycatch red, I'm not gonna complain. He came from that direction, and that is why I'm choosing today not to go over there because the bigger skiffs and whatnot are going to be able to get back there but to this side over here they just forget that i mean they, it's like committing suicide with oyster and oh man those winds were i mean look at all of this there goes a red right over there oh gosh that ain't cool man we spooked the red and uh we kind of jacked up the motor. That ain't cool at all. Okay, so let's do this. We gotta straighten our motor back out. And then we gotta raise it up, straighten her out, raise her up, there we go. Now let's push through. This is where I wanna be right here. So kind of approach it slowly and quietly. We'll leave the motor up because I think it's going to be push-pull country the remainder of the way in. Soft mud, not bad. That's some good stuff. I'm going to stake ourselves out right here. Cast inside there because I just have a great feeling. Lots of shrimp in the area. They're normally going to be back there on them flooded flats. But because the first cold front, the true one, that 20 plus 30 mile an hour winds right here on the coast from the north direction just completely drained our marshes. So everything is now having to like retreat to deeper water. So that's why the bayou is just loaded with all these shrimp right here in front of me. Nope. I felt like a little thump, but I don't know if he nosed it. I don't know what happened, honestly, but you can see the smoke cloud that he left behind. Oh, wow. Oh, 
those are tough ones to swallow when you know the fish are here and there are ton like I'm not gonna say tons but there are several of them here there goes another one right in front of me two of them oh he, he gave chase but didn't actually take the entire lure he's right here still I'm going to go full blown, full size paddle tail. Right here in front of me, still. Does not want it. Bro, what do we got to put on it? Wow. I can't just keep casting something that they're not going to take. I mean, they, they show interest in it, they go up to it, but then immediately they turn around and we just can't keep having that. We got the paddle tail, full size paddle tail. Gonna inject some pro cure inside it. I'm gonna pull out all the stops and I'm just gonna swim this guy by. Maybe they wanna feel that thump. Maybe they, you know, don't want the shrimp imitations, get something like this right here going. Here goes one in front of me. He's kind of moving fast, so maybe he's gonna be hungry. He turned, he turned to come after it. He cannot move, otherwise he's gonna see me. He turned after it again. Uh, he just spooked. Actually, he's not spooked. He's got a buddy with him as well. Right here. Yeah, he turned, but he's lazy. I, I, I think they're truly not hungry. Right in front of his face. No, he didn't. He didn't want anything to do with it. I'm trying to turn around. Boy, I'm going to get a cramp doing this. I can barely reel in. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that? All it did was spook him. Um, I'm truly at a loss for what's going to work. Definitely, definitely at a loss. Oh, you know what? I think we got the perfect lure. And we're gonna need a spinning reel. We're gonna use this one right here. Here we go. Look at that. That looks good. Okay, I think this is one. Yep. Did not want it. Nope, did not want it. Man, that is every lure that we have we have tossed to these guys. They've rejected every one that I have I've pitched to them. Oh, right over here. Oh, got him! Finally! Holy cow, dude. Look at all the reds blowing up around here. The savage gear gets it done. Oh my gosh. This is a brute too. Look at him. He is a big one. I've got about three pounds of drag, just in case y'all are wondering. This is a 500 series spinning reel. It's not very big at all, but it's more than enough to fight a massive fish like this inside the marsh. There's nowhere for him to go. There's no oyster back here. It's just a solid flat with nothing but soft mud. Oh my gosh. Finally got this dead fella. Look at how big he is. Goodness gracious. There we go. There we go. Gosh, after countless lures. Get over here. 
Get over here. You're making a big old ruckus. All right. Whew, wow. Holy moly. Talk about trying your patience. Knowing that there are lots of reds out here in this back lake. And I'm talking, we were just tying lures left and right. Normally what I come out here pre-rigged with is going to work. But they just didn't want it. And finally, we pull something out of the hat and that gets these guys to bite. I am, I am beyond happy. If this is the only one I'm catching today, I don't care. I'm happy. Look at that guy. Chilling. There we are. Thank goodness for the forceps. That's like legit the best pliers that you could possibly own. Look at this massive monkey right here. Freaking monkey of a red fish. 27 is my guess. Let's see. Okay, head is up there. 27. I still can't see the zero though. Okay, right there. Nose is at, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Nose is at the zero. Goodness gracious, I am really, wow, 27 on the money. That's a good guess. On the verge of becoming a bull. Biggest that I've ever caught in the marsh is most definitely going to be around uh, 30 I think it was like 30 or 31 inches something like that that is clutch right there that lure came in clutch to be able to experience the fight I thought honestly I thought that I was going to go away without catching anything and being Latin you know that we seen I'm going to guess over 15 reds and they're just all making circles throughout and this is such a good area because I can get both portions of the bank there y'all that may even be the thumbnail who knows hopefully we're gonna catch some more but for right now let's get this guy back in the water boy he took off in a hurry little torpedo <sighs> There we are. Blind casting. I knew they were in here still. Oh, wow. That is another big one. Oh, yes, baby. Another good one. That's right. Dig straight into the net. Oh, yes on it was quiet we were on a dry spell there for I don't know a good hour and we weren't getting any hits um, not that we were expecting anything but uh, I wasn't seeing anything I wasn't seeing these guys anymore the wind started kicking up and so I just decided to leave that little pocket right there that little cove and we'll try to come out here and just blind cast the entire area I knew these guys were still gonna be back here look at that that is another gorgeous keeper redfish right there I need to turn around yeah that is a that's a really good looking keeper redfish look at that tail you can tell he's gonna be a big bruiser he's gonna be dude I'm like trying to take my kayak out I'm gonna be a big brute red one of these days that's if he can stay away from the fake stuff. Because <laughs> if you can't, you're going to end up on somebody's plate. Y'all, it's, it's a really good day, uh, especially whenever you get to catch. And when you don't expect to get much of anything at all, and then you do end up putting a few in the boat, that's nothing short of amazing. Especially on a day that they're being super selective. Okay, we got him. 
Does not feel like a red though. But guess what? It is, okay, stop shaking that tail, dude. I wanna see what you are. It's a red. It's a tiny little red. We sewed your mouth shut, dude, didn't we? Sorry, whoa, buddy, whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, there's hooks right there. All right. Belly flop. Oh my gosh, that sun. Holy moly. It is really brutal. Like, I'm blind. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this, uh, this video today, y'all. Um, it was very slow. And uh, nonetheless, I still had a lot of fun being able to take up the challenge to see what those reds were going to start biting. And goodness gracious, I went through every one of my finesse lures and of all things, a small shrimp which makes sense because that's what's inside the marsh right now. Tons and tons of shrimp, the grass shrimp variety. They are out here just gorging themselves and there's just enough water to get back into the little back pond slash back lake, whatever you wanna call it. Six inches of water. And uh, if you can stand up and you got a great pair of polarized lenses, that's going to make all the difference in the world and being able to spot the silhouette of a redfish moving through the water. Watch out for them gar though because they, they got some nasty teeth and they will cause you to lose your lure. But uh, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. For all of you that are interested in the gear that I was using to include the small tiny shrimp, the only one that would get it done, that's going to be linked in my video description down below along with the setups and all the gear. So uh, if you click on one of them links, it'll take you to a website. And if you make a purchase, that helps to support the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. All right. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.